Hey guys, I'm back here on some Modern Warfare 2, and in today's video I ended up getting the KV Broadside Gold. And here's the class setup that I'm using right now. I got the 12, 25 shell drum, just to have an insane amount of ammo capacity. Then I got the VLK Stockless, just for the extra movement speed, uh, and just versatility of the weapon, in all honesty. Then I got the VLK LZR 7mm laser. This gives us more ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed, as we'll need it because this decreases all of that. And then tuning, greater sprint to fire speed, and greater ADS because this brings it up a lot. This barrel increases damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity, but brings down ADS and hip fire recoil control. There's the purpose of this to kind of balance it out, but we get more damage range and hip fire accuracy with this and uh more aim walking speed and more ads with it because it it does bring down the ads quite a bit but it's not terrible with these tunes um then i have the improved choke with no tuning on it because i think it's perfect with no tune but yeah here's the setup i was running and let's get into the video So yeah, here's the KV broadside gold on shipment here. It's really funny as on shipment, not gonna lie. Um yeah, it's it's a pretty good gun overall I would say. I had a lot of fun leveling it up and stuff. It is honestly way too OP. Shit, my TV's audio is on. Turn that down. There we go. Um, yeah. I mean, this gun is super fun to use, especially on shipment. Uh, it's semi automatic. This class setup is mainly meant for just kind of spraying around and all, honestly. I mean, you can. It has the versatility of being able to use it as a hip fire weapon along with being able to ADS for those far ranges. But is mainly used as uh, just a hip fire kind of just spray. What the? I mean, it's just so fun to use. And you pretty much never run out of ammo. It does struggle at ranges, but I mean, if you're using it in shipment, just like kind of running around jumping like that and that, um, it is so much fun to use. Um, I have been trying to get a new mic recently been looking for one right now I'm using the recon 500 by uh, turtle beach and it's honestly super good uh, I actually got a, a stealth 600 and I was actually testing it today and setting it up whatever and it is the mic quality is dog shit I tested it in twitch and it is terrible I am highly disappointed all their views and stuff say that the mic is super good, whatever. It is completely false. I was using it for Xbox. I mean, it's nice that it's wireless. I'm trying to get a wireless one, but the mic quality is absolute dog shit, so I'll be returning that. Um, honestly, I'm just, I'm trying to go wireless, but everything seems that, I mean, everything that's wireless is 
not made for Xbox for whatever reason. Like the HS80, for example. I was looking at those. Super nice by Corsair. Uh, all the reviews are super nice. They say it's good, good comfort, good sound, uh, good mic quality. I mean, really everything you're looking in for a headset. It just hits everything, and it's only 150 bucks for wireless, best mic quality, and really good comfort. I mean, that it just hits all the check marks. But massive, but it is not supported on Xbox. And I'm pretty sure it's compatible with PS4. Don't quote me on that. But not compatible with Xbox for wireless. And they don't. The wired version of the HSAD also isn't supported on Xbox for whatever reason. I think it's retarded, honestly. I mean, it doesn't make sense why it wouldn't be compatible with Xbox, the wired version. When it's also just a. It's a USB wire. Who makes a USB wire fucking headset? I mean, it did say it was geared towards PC. No shit, it's fucking USB wired. I mean, why wouldn't they just make the time to make an audio jack for uh, 3.5 millimeter for Xbox? Because I would buy that shit right away. I don't, I don't care that it's wired. The HS80 is so good, and even if it is wired, it's the end of the world. I mean, their next best is the HS80 f or HS75, yeah. And honestly, they're just subpar and everything. And then I came across the Logitech uh, S335. And they seem alright, but again, they're just, I mean, they're pretty much the same quality as my recon, so why would I spend the money and waste my time waiting for them when they're the exact same as the headset that I have now? I mean, the headset that I have now is really good for the price range, and I would highly recommend it. I mean, it's, I think it's like... I got it at Target on sale for like 50 bucks. It was a super good deal. Um, the mic quality, I think it sounds great. I mean, compared to the fucking Still Series 600, uh, they sound way better than that. I mean, it's wired, but it's an abrasionless cord, so that was pretty big. Yeah, at least. It's not some shitty wire. But, I don't know. I, I'm i just so disappointed that headphone or headset companies don't make them their wireless compatible with Xbox. Like, so many instances of that. You know? Like, the, for example, the Logitech 735. Some shit like that. Um... Another example, as I discussed, the HS80. Even the wire isn't compatible with Xbox. I mean, there was just so many instances where I, where I would find a headset that I liked. I mean, like, I like the look, it's wireless. And then, it isn't supported Xbox. Like, I, I just don't understand why they're not supported on Xbox. Like, is Microsoft being difficult or something? <laughs> I don't understand that, you know? and it's honestly disappointing because I'm just trying to find a good one. Because my current setup is like a big TV, and then I have a chair that's kind of far away and not a desk setup, so I kind of need like a headset that has a good mic, is decently comfort, comfortable, and that doesn't break the bank. Cause there was some that were nice. Like I was looking at like the the A or um, Astro series, like the A forties or A fifties. But like the A forties, for example, they're like I think they're like 120 bucks. Just isn't terrible by any means, but I don't know if I want to spend that type of money. 
Um, and then like the A50s, they're wireless. Oh yeah, the A40s are wired, which is why I kind of have to spend that much money. And then the the A50s, they're wireless, but they cost three hundred dollars. Like in a way, hell, I'm fucking spending that much money on a headset. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, please send them my way because I'm kind of desperate for a headset with a good mic. I mean, I know I'm asking a lot. I want comfort, uh, like good build quality, good mic. I mean, and wireless especially. That's the really big thing. Cause it's not wireless. Really, just wireless. Yeah, wireless, good comfort, and good mic quality, which is very hard to put in a headset that doesn't break the bank. And I understand that, but. If you guys have any suggestions on headsets that you guys like, please let me know. I'm very open. But, yeah. I mean, this gun is a blast to use. Sorry, I couldn't talk about headsets the whole time. I don't know. It's been bugging me. But yeah, this is the HVK Broadside. I had decent KD. I could have done better. Yeah, um, one of the games, I got 15,000 XP, which was kind of crazy. I don't know if I can pull up the screenshot or not. I might put it in the video. If I don't, it's whatever. But yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, this is the KV Broadside. It's a class at a moment in time. But, yeah. Hope you guys have a good day. And, yeah, see you guys in the next one.